back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you're new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three crucial aspects of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continue to push you towards professional success as you continue to grow in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today's video was inspired from a coaching session I just had where we discussed why you need to stop being an emotional crutch for your ex. Now, you know how I am. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. Let them miss you because sometimes when you're always available, they take you for granted because they believe that you'll always stay. Look, I get it, it's rough, right? When you have a long history with an ex, it is incredibly difficult to just totally detach yourself fully after a breakup. You might share kids together, you might still live together until you can move out, you might still have your stuff at their place you have to go get, you might have to still figure out your bills situation if you share financial responsibility. Oh, and I forgot the big one. Of course, you probably still care about them and love them, right? So until all of the BS is figured out, you're kinda in limbo? It's awkward as hell though, right? Because you might mentally want to be moving on, but there's still this emotional attachment that you have. The easiest thing for you to do is to go back to them for sex, for attention, just for the talk. But now you are still just as available for them as you were when the two of you were together right after your breakup. Because well, are y'all like done done? Or is this just a temporary thing? The problem I see too often is that y'all have been down this road before. You've made threats of leaving before. You've said that you're done before, but emotionally, you're still being in a relationship without actually being in a relationship. So you know where I'm going with this, right? Yeah, you are being an emotional crutch. You are being relied on by your ex to be a little stability as they transition into their new situation with another man or woman. How could you possibly move on if you guys are still playing house together? If you're still going over having the no strings attached sex? Nah, there are strings attached. They are attached to you because right now you're being controlled emotionally. Know why? Because you haven't really let go yet. You are still holding on to some glimmer of hope that things might actually work out in the end, that they will have changed their heart, that this might still lead somewhere. And guess what? I got a little secret to tell you. They know that too. They know you still want them. They know you still love them. They know you'll be available when they hit you up. Know why? Because you're you, and that's what they've come to expect from you. See, what I'd actually ask you here is what exactly is your plan? Like, what are you looking or hoping for this to turn back into? What it was? Do you think that you can rekindle this relationship? Or are you just doing it for comfort? And if you do think that you can rekindle the relationship, then I would tell you that you're going about it the wrong way. See, the saying doesn't go that your presence makes the heart go fonder. It's your absence that makes the heart grow fonder. You being physically and emotionally present every single time that they wanna talk to you or link up with you is telling them that nothing has changed. You are still the same old you, the same man or woman who will be there for them at their beck and call whenever they need you. Even if they're in another relationship, you want them back, then you need to be able to detach yourself completely. You need to be able to physically and emotionally walk away and move Move on to finding your peace elsewhere. See, unfortunately, you got stuck in a scarcity mentality, thinking that this one man or woman is the only man or woman who will be a good fit for you. But that couldn't be further from the truth. See, the truth is you being their emotional crutch will make it even harder for you to get over them. You are so hesitant to move on because of your comfort zone that you have created because of that relationship. But in all honesty, it's probably that same comfort that caused you not to even be in a relationship together anyway. You know how some people get joy out of getting over on you? And I know what you may be thinking, but we, he or she isn't that type of person. So what I'd ask you, then tell me what type of person they are. Are they the type of person that would be acting like they're in a relationship with someone that they're not in a relationship with? That they're not really willing to have titles on because they wanna be doing their own thing? See, it's easy for me to tell you what you wanna hear when I know what you want to hear. It's easy for you to believe it because you guessed it, you want to believe it. You know how you always hear me talk about our choices? Yeah, well, I think you might have realized that if you're in this situation, you have some choices that you need to 
me. You have some soul searching you need to do to be able to stop from being emotional crutch for your ex. And while you might think that's hard as hell to do, you're right in that assumption. But also hard is being stuck somewhere where you don't belong without having a ride back. Is it helping you find closure? Is it helping you move on? Is it helping you grow? Is it helping you find happiness that you deserve? Is it leading to frustration? These are tough ass questions that only you can answer. Whatever you decide, just remember this. You don't need to waste your time on someone who only wants you around when it fits their needs. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. And if no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you found some value in this video, make sure that you like and comment down below. Make sure you share it as well. If you're new to the channel, I want you to become official to the squad. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become an official part of the team. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.